Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to overlay a concrete pad from start to finish using our TF structural repair mortar. Uh, first thing I do is pour the mix along the two edges and of course the top edge there and keeping it as close as you can to the edges. Uh, then I get two trowels. Uh, one will act as a temporary form essentially while I'm spreading out the product beside it just preventing any material from flowing down into those expansion joints. You can also see the mix consistency that was used. It's, it's enough Part B in the product so the mix isn't too wet that it runs away from you but it's still easily travelable and, and nice to work with. We do have a separate video for mixing uh, tips and tricks you can watch as well. So as you can see I just used the one trowel uh, kind of angled in towards me to go all the way along the three expansion joints and initially spread out the product. Um, and then after I do that, I go over it one more time just to make sure I have a fairly uniform consistency and depth to it. And after you've done those three joints, you just go back and forth. Always maintain pressure on the front of the trowel so that the excess material works its way uh, back towards you, if, if that makes sense. Now you also don't have to be too concerned with how smooth uh, you leave the first troweling. You can see I have quite a few trowel marks there. I like to go over it uh, usually one more time at least just to get any excess material um, brought back to the the far edge there and just to smooth it out a little more but again once you uh, put a broom on it you'll be able to see a lot of those trowel marks get uh, knocked down so there's the initial spread that was a full bag of product that we used there you're free to mix up as much product as you want quarter bag half bag uh, I'm fairly comfortable with the material so we were able to spread a full bag at a time there. Now you can see when we're doing the brooming I have uh, the broom at a very steep angle on the end of a pole not typically how you see it when they they broom concrete and that just prevents you from pulling pulling the product across uh, the concrete pad. Now here's another trick you can do if you're wanting to mimic those picture framed edges you can use a two inch margin trowel uh, as well as another longer trowel to do that whereas the edging tools don't work too well for that. So now once you get your second mix um, you pour it right into the wet edge of the old mix and again I'll start with the two edges with the double trowel technique uh, and then you go up and you trowel right into the old product keeping heavier pressure on the the front nose of that trowel I'm not leaving any ridge up there and all the excess material is moving its way back towards me. So once I have that, uh, the new product troweled nicely into the old product, then I continue to, to trowel the, the mix back towards myself. Again, keeping pressure on the front part of that trowel so the excess material works its way, way to the back. Uh, you also notice there was a large crack there that we troweled right over it. Um, the TF Structural will trowel over the cracks, but it is a very rigid product. Um, it's not designed to fix cracks, so if you have a substrate like the one we're troweling over that has a crack in it, uh, over time that crack will reflect through, so that's that's just something to note. It, it is a very rigid material, so unfortunately cracks do come back. Um, so here I do have some excess material that I was able to trowel back towards myself, so I'm just pulling it right down to the edge and finishing that edge and starting on the bottom edge. Um, with that double trowel technique and then I'm going to pull the excess product that we have left there over to the other side and same thing I'm going to work that excess material further down uh, this side edge here. Once that's done you can just smooth out the excess material and again you can see quite a few trowel marks that were left there. Um, the broom is a very good tool for you uh, to trowel those right out of the the install. As you can see the second broom here going over the trowel marks knocks that right down and leaves a nice smooth consistent broom finish. Um, and as you're seeing we're finishing the product as we go. We have a nice cool day that we're installing the structural on today so we have lots of working time with it. Um, but you do want to gauge how much material you're going to be working with at one time based on your temperature. The biggest factor for structural's cure time is how hot it is. If you're troweling on a hot summer day in the sun, 
definitely you're going to have uh, less working time. That's where you'd want to use our TF ice to help slow that down. And there are uh, separate videos talking about how to use those products. So there's our final mix. Uh, we made probably a quarter of a bag just to finish off this pad. And that's something you'll get used to over time, uh, gauging how much product to make. And I'm switching to a smaller trowel just to finish this lower section. And again, just pressing that new material into the old material that you just placed. And um, again, if it's a hotter day and you have a little less working time, the sooner you can put a broom into the old mix uh, and the seam with the new mix, the better. And then you can just keep working with the product. So with the excess material, we're just going along that bottom edge using that double trowel technique. Uh, to finish off the install of the pad. I'm going to bring a little excess material over to this edge to finish it off and then uh, using my trowel just smooth out smooth out the extra product that's left and again it doesn't have to be extremely flat or perfect all the ridges you see there that I'm leaving uh, with the trowel will be smoothed out and, and knocked down quite nicely with that brooming technique you can see in the video. So that's it for uh, the install we're going to put the, the final brooming on that. Look at all those trowel ridges there. And as you see, when the broom goes over that, it knocks them down nice and smooth and consistent. Uh, but you can see how shallow of an angle we're, we're coming into the, the pad with that broom. You're also seeing the pad that I'm standing on. We're going to be skimming next. So I, I am wiping the broom onto that pad just to get any excess material off it before it drips onto the, the existing pad we are brooming. And there's that uh, two inch margin trial technique again, just to, to put in that picture framing look. Again, that's, that's not an essential thing to do, but if the customer is wanting to have that look put back into it, it's a fairly easy technique to do. So there's the final look uh, after we had done the second pad as well. And about an hour after we installed that first pad, we were walking on it to uh, use the broom on the second one. So there's a TF structural broom finished overlay. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.